ਭੈਣ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਨੇ ਜਿਨੇਟ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਏ ਤੋਂ ਹੁਣ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਾਂਗੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਰੂਟੀਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਫੋਲੋ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਰੋ ਵੀਗਨ ਡਾਈਟ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇੱਕ ਅਲੱਗ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਹਾਊ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰਾਂਸਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਹਾਊ ਸ਼ੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਟਰਾਂਸਫਾਰਮਡ ਹਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰਾਂਸਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਦ ਲਾਈਫਸ ਆਫ ਅਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੋ ਜਿਨੇਟ ਵੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਯੂ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਕੋਰ ਆਫ ਅਵਰ ਹਾਰਟ ਸੋ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਜਿਨੇਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਆਸ ਯੂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਟੈਲ ਅਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੂਰ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਵਾਟ ਮੋਟੀਵੇਟਿਡ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਔਨ ਅ ਰੋ ਵੀਗਨ ਡਾਈਟ the the voice is not coming the voice is not coming yeah you know what i'm having trouble with my headphones i got to get no no worries no worries no worries it's me it's definitely me uh um... sure sure <laughs> So let's see if these work better. Hold on, please. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, sister. We can hear you. Okay. So I saw my but, family But but the voice but the voice is low. Can you please uh, move your uh, uh, microphone at least uh, to, to the uh, in the uh, you know near your lip, near your mouth? Can you hear me? Yes, the voice but the voice is low. Okay. You're not going to Can you hear me now? We're not going to do headphones. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, so yes. So, my family suffered a lot with a lot, a lot of health issues, cancer, diabetes, uh brain tumor, prostate cancer, um heart attacks. A lot everybody in my family was suffering when I was a kid and now as well, and I just knew that this was not normal. We don't have to suffer from all of these diseases. And so I started researching and learning about what humans should eat, you know, because we're we don't know what to do. We have this body, we weren't given a manual, you know. We know more about our cars than we know about our bodies. So I started learning about what to put into my body for it to be running efficiently and not get diseases later in life. And that's how I found the raw vegan diet. And so it's been thir- almost 13 years uh since I had, you know, processed food animal body parts uh i don't eat any animals no dairy no fish no processed foods no bread gluten pasta it's been 13 years only fruit vegetables nuts and seeds and i'm not protein deficient i'm super healthy i used to be overweight i used to have very very bad skin i used to oh my god so many health issues i used to be always having stomach problems i always had um headaches migraine headaches rashes eczema everything went away when i started eating my species specific diet so that's a little bit of my story and sister uh, are you 100% on raw vegan diet from uh, these years since these years 100% yes but you know it's hard to say 100% because you know cashews they're not raw and i'll have them sometimes you know t- you can't have raw cashews they have to be heated to be extracted um maple syrup once in a while i will have um but i have not eaten cooked food in 13 years okay and uh, how many people have joined you in this journey on the raw vegan diet till now yeah that, that well that's a good question i don't know it's a lot of people um but i have helped thousands of people and i've seen a lot of people's diseases um completely go away and a lot of people lose weight and i help people with their skin and so uh they're telling me to speak slower <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you're speaking fine you're speaking fine we are, we are all here we are listening to you okay and uh, we would like to know uh what is the peace and bliss level on a raw vegan diet uh say that again what is the peace level uh, what peace are you experiencing right now bliss level you are uh, experiencing right now on raw vegan diet peace uh yes, yes. so um the raw vegan diet definitely makes you a better person because you can 
you're not as agitated or angry. You're not as um, irritated. You know, when your stomach hurts, when you can't go to the bathroom, you're not a nice person. You know, you get irritated and you, uh, you are like irritable bowel syndrome. You know, you're irritable if you have that. So as a raw vegan, I have no health problems. I don't have any problems going to the bathroom. I don't have any stomach issues. I'm never sick. So yeah, it's made me definitely a more peaceful person. And um, absolutely, I can think more clearly now too. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, what impact uh, raw vegan diet makes uh, in the level of mercy? Mercy. Uh, Compassionate. Being compassionate. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. So I, I was always compassionate, but I was eating animals. So it's hard for you to care about other beings when you're eating them, you know? So when I stopped eating animals, that's when I started seeing everyone as equal, you know, everyone, every single person, every single animal. We're all here for a reason. And we, we all want to just be alive. We want to feel love and we want to not have to worry and we don't want to be attacked. We don't want to be, wor you know, in fear. We don't want to have to um, deal with being abused and being hurt. And, I, and uh, I for sure recommend anyone out there that's suffering from depression or anger or any type of um, mental illness, you know, uh, to try a raw vegan diet. It really makes a big difference. What you eat affects your mind highly so add and adhd and all these things they are affected greatly by the food you eat so try eating more fresh food and you might find yourself um your depression to be lifted a little bit um you might find yourself to be able to think more clearly and um, i know my mom got a lot better my mom was um schizophrenic and she got a lot better when she started eating more fruit and vegetables so i have seen it firsthand and uh, sister so do you believe that all diseases arise from wrong food and it can be cured with food? That's a good question. Um, I, I think 90% of diseases are caused by food and the lack of nutritional awareness, the lack of knowing what to eat. Um, I think the rest, the 10% is, um, you know, other things like alcohol and smoking and your toxic thinking, you know, a lot of people are living in fear and fear lowers the immune system. So we want to be careful with that. We want to have a practice of meditation and we want to have a practice of feeling empowered and positive every single day. And, uh, but I think 90% of diseases are preventable. And I want to say, I think it's very selfish for people to not eat healthy because when you're not eating healthy, you're going to die early and your family is going to miss you and they're not going to, you're not going to have time with them and your grandkids might not see you, and you're not gonna be there for your family. So I think it's very important that we think about our family when we're eating fast food, when we're eating chips. You know, think about the loved ones that you have that you wanna be around for. So yeah, at my age, I am 38, I'm about to be 39. But, but, uh, but you look like 21 years of age. <laughs> so, uh, sister, do you believe that uh, even hardcore diseases can be cured with raw vegan diet? Yes, I like, have seen it. Like cancer? Yeah. yeah, I have helped. You're not allowed to say this on the internet, so. But no, I you have... can say it. You can say it. It will inspire us. You can say India, it. I can say it in India. Okay, listen, I have seen, I have physically seen the x-rays of my clients where they had tumors in their breast. They had tumors in their thyroid. They had tumors in their body. Uh, when they started working with me and the tumors completely disappeared after eating a 100% or high raw vegan diet. You don't have to be 100% raw, but you need to eliminate certain things. If you want the tumors to shrink, if you want to reverse diseases, we got to eliminate things like animal products, all animal products. These are the most carcinogenic things on earth. We have to eliminate salt and we have to eliminate oil and all processed foods. These things cause diseases. They do nothing else. As you know, they don't do anything good for us, okay? And so if you want to reverse a disease, it is simple, but you have to do the work. Nothing is going to work unless you do it. And of course, you need to get outside, you need to move your body, you need to say positive affirmations, and you need to eat the fresh fruit and vegetables that are going to help you heal. 
because your body can heal. It's trying to heal, but you're just like putting in the crap. It's not going to work. It's not going to heal if you keep putting in the stuff that's causing the disease. Oh, yeah. Sister, do you eat organic food? Uh, yes. Good, good question. I try to mostly eat organic, but it's not possible because I can't really get organic watermelons. I can't get organic cantaloupe and honeydews. So I just do my best and I always, always eat organic greens and anything that I don't peel. So, you know, grapes and berries, I pretty much refuse to eat them unless they're organic or unless I'm, you know, starving, which is, you know, pretty rare. But, you know, I'm traveling soon. I'm going to Ohio uh, Columbus, Ohio in a few days and on the road, I might need to eat non-organic grapes and that's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, in India, companies are using a lot of chemicals in the agricultural feed. So we want to know about your region. Their people use chemical or not or they are using organic produce. What do you think? America is known for using chemicals and pesticides and toxins in food that is illegal in other countries. We are known to not care about our citizens, okay? And I don't know what it's like in India, but I know here in America, there are so many things that should be illegal. And even there are even ingredients in products that they don't tell us that they're in. Like a company can put ingredients in products and not have it on the label here in the United States. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And these ingredients are so toxic and so deadly, they don't even want to show them. They don't want you to know. And you know, when you buy an apple, you don't see the ingredients of all the pesticides on there. And so this is why it's important to buy organic um, or peel it or wash it. I would recommend washing with baking soda and um, apple cider vinegar, you know. Washing your produce with something like that is a good idea. Trying to get as much organic as possible and also peeling the skin when you can. I always try to peel everything, cucumbers, apples, because they're putting in very dangerous pesticides that cause a lot of negative side effects that we don't even know. Uh, headaches, stomach issues, seizures. There's so many side effects to these pesticides. So be careful out there, yeah. Sister, do you love traveling? Um, yes, I do. So how you handle your diet uh, while traveling uh, to the various regions you prefer? Yes, so, so I have never had a problem uh, because there are fruit and vegetables everywhere. The only place that's a problem sometimes is the airport. So I always bring my own fruit and vegetables it's not a problem. They always let me in. You know, I bring grapes, I bring oranges, I bring melons cut up in Tupperware. I bring anything I want and they let you as long as it's not, you know, water or juices or smoothies. They let you bring fruit. I brought, you know what a jackfruit is? I think you have a lot of jackfruits there, right? Yes. So I've brought a jackfruit on a plane and I've eaten on a plane. There's no problem. <laughs> Yeah, so, it was a scene. So okay, okay, so you are saying that uh, if you bring raw food, they will let you in with uh, in the airplane, in the flight? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. And uh, we would love to know about your daily diet. Yeah, so every day I drink, uh, I like to drink um, water or coconut water first. I like to work out in the morning, drink water, and then I have a big bowl of fruit. So this morning I had a big bowl of grapes. I like to put lemon on my grapes, it tastes really good. A big, big bowl, you know, so the whole bag. You buy a bag of grapes, I eat, I'm gonna eat the whole bag. For lunch, I'm gonna probably have watermelon um, as much as I want. For dinner, I'm probably gonna have, I usually like to have some fruit, a little bit of fruit, and then a big, big salad. So, lots of greens in there, tomatoes, cucumbers, everything I want, and then a nice homemade raw vegan dressing. Tonight, I'm probably gonna do um, like a Caesar dressing with pine nuts and um, dulse and lemon, garlic. You know, every night I make a dressing, put it on, so good. That's it, that's my diet, that's what I <laughs> And so are you a nocturnal eater or diurnal eater? Oh, uh, say it again. Are you, uh, do you uh, usually eat at night or during daytime? Okay, this is a good question. Sometimes I do eat at night, but it's not a good idea. 
So I would highly recommend that people eat during the daylight hours. So I'm sure you know this, um, the sun has to be in the sky for us to digest our food. So try your best not to eat when the sun goes down. That okay. is the time that we should be resting and digesting. And if you're eating, you're not digesting. You can't digest your food at the same time as you're eating it. Okay. So you have to calm down, you have to rest and you have to stop eating by, you know, the time the sun goes down. That's ideal. So suppose there are, uh, there are no fruits for you. So how will you handle the, that situation? I will eat vegetables. And if there are no vegetables, uh, I was, listening to your interview so you were saying something there that uh, uh, you will <coughs> work on some uh, raw nuts and uh, dried fruits yeah if there's no fruit there's no vegetables i will eat dried fruit if there's no dried fruit i will drink water if there's no water i will not eat i will fast i will fast there's no absolutely no reason for me to eat any processed foods ever if I have to eat cooked food, it has to be a fruit or vegetable. It has to because, yeah. And it's, you can, you, you can, we are listening to you. <laughs> we are heavily listening to you and you can talk as uh, much you want, okay? as and, much you like. And the reason is because your body gets used to whatever you're doing. So if I put, if I eat bread or pasta or, you know, animals, chicken or fish, I know that my body is not going to like it because it hasn't had it in 13 years. I'm going to get constipated. I'm going to get sick. I'm not going to feel good. And I do not like to be sick. And somebody asked a good question. How much protein, protein am I getting? Well, yes, yes, if yes. You go to, yes. If you go to my Instagram, I posted a blood test that I took last uh, two or three weeks ago. After 13 years, my, my protein is perfect. I'm getting all the protein I need from fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and I don't count my calories or count the protein. You see every fruit and every vegetable has protein in it. So I don't have to worry about it at all. I'm gonna eat watermelon, it has protein. I'm, I eat grapes for breakfast, they have protein. You know, I, I'm gonna eat a big salad, it has lots of protein. We don't need to worry about protein. This is a lie, this is a myth, and you need to know that the more protein you eat, the more dis-ease in your body. That's the big joke. That's the biggest joke all around the world that we need protein. But actually, we only need protein if we want to form a disease in our body. We don't need animal protein. We need amino acids, which come from all fruit and vegetables. The body can transform anything it wants. Uh, yeah, it can tra transform from fruits. It can transform from vegetables, nuts, anything it likes. Okay. So how you, uh, yes, yes, you can talk. Yeah, I want to say that the best thing is to just think, where do the animals get their protein? The chickens and the cows and the pigs and the goats, where do they get their protein? They get it from grass. They get it from, you know, corn. They get it from fruit and vegetables. So why don't we just get it from there too? It's so silly. So next question. And uh, sister, how you tackle winters on raw vegan diet? How do I tackle what? Sorry? Winter. Winter season. Winters, yes. Well, I was raw vegan for nine years in New York City. So I spent nine winters as a raw vegan. And it was not easy. It was not easy. But what I did was I got through it and eventually I moved. You know, I moved to Miami. And it's much easier here because it's summer all the time. Um, but in the winter, you know, I ate mostly smoothies, okay? I had a lot of bananas, lots of dates, lots of melons, oranges are in season in the winter here, persimmons. You know, I ate what I could eat and it wasn't always fun and it wasn't always easy, but I stayed committed because I knew the truth. And if anybody out there is thinking about going on a raw vegan diet, I recommend you pick up a book called Return to the Brain of Eden. This is a great book by Tony Wright and he explains about fruit and how it is our species specific diet and it's amazing and i highly recommend it and i read the book and it helped me so much to know that i was doing the right thing and i was eating for my body you know this is what we should be eating and when you do eat this you know miracles happen i can't even tell you how many how many things i have been able to manifest 
and people are always calling me psychic and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying that fruit makes you have superpowers, but I'm not saying it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I was going to ask this question in the last part, but I will ask it now. What is the impact of raw vegan diet on your sixth sense or your, or your intuition powers? Yeah. Please tell us. I've never been asked that question and it's a great question. There's something that happens when you, so nature and the universe, God, whoever you believe in, is very powerful, right? The creator is very powerful. And the creator creates the earth and everything that grows from the earth. When you just consume the things that are grown in the sun that are from the earth, you get the powers that that has. That has all the power of the sun, the wind, the rain, the earth. Something happens and all the time, like people are like scared because I'm like saying something that they're thinking or I think of something and then I, comes in the mail or somebody gives it to me for free. You know, if I say an affirmation over and over and over, I have to be careful because it will come true. It will absolutely come true. And everybody has this power, but the problem is, we're very powerful humans. The problem is we are so clogged with the processed foods and the animal body parts that we cannot access our power. I think the fruit has power, but I think humans have unlimited potential we have to get stuff out of our way out of our system we have to get the stuff out of our body so that we can access our powers you know we have to be clean and the only way to do this is to eat a fruit and vegetable based diet mostly fruit um i didn't have any type of like manifestation powers or any any of this before when i was eating mcdonald's i was too I was too clogged and I think that's why these things are invented, fast food and processed foods, because they don't want humans to access their powers. And I know some people are gonna think this is crazy talk and that's okay, this is not for you. This, what I'm saying is for the people that are open to this, who are open-minded and receptive and want to experience a different level of life. I never experienced happiness or joy or peace until I went raw. I was very depressed, I was very angry I was, I come from poverty, you know, I grew up poor and I was always angry and depressed. And then eating this diet has opened my eyes up to all the abundance in the universe that is available to me and you and everyone here. So that's my, yeah, that's my answer. And uh, what is the strength level on raw vegan diet? Your strength, the strength level. level. <laughs> strength level. Yes. Um, Yes, so you have to work out if you want to be strong. I am currently on my fitness journey, so I'm getting stronger every day. Um, I work out with my private community. If anybody's interested, you can check. go to MisfitMondays.com. Um, I'll leave it below. And um, yeah, you can absolutely be as strong as you want. There are so many people like Doug Graham and Tim Trader and Eli Martyr from the Free Melon Society. You should interview him. He's amazing. And they're very, very strong people because they work out, they lift heavy, they do lots of push-ups and body weights. This guy, there's another guy named Wayne Gitchy. I interviewed him recently. Uh, he's super strong and 100% uh, raw vegan for over 10 years. So yeah, it's all about you pushing yourself, working out, and you can absolutely be as strong and uh, as fit as you want to. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm getting my muscles. <laughs> Sister, uh, what is your height? Five three. And weight? My weight. I have not weighed myself in a, a very long time. I don't know. Some estimate. Do you believe that you have the perfect weight right now on raw vegan diet? Is it balanced? Yes. I think that. Um, I, to be honest, I was. I, I weigh more than most raw vegans, and um, you know a lot of raw vegans are very 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 skinny. I am not very skinny. You, you and, are sister, very beautiful. You are healthy. So thank you. Thank well, you. We we won't. We are. Uh, uh, we are very sorry for uh, interrupting you. We want to know why there are so many raw vegans that are skinny, and you are very healthy. What's the secret? Please tell us. I love to eat, and I eat as much as I want. And another thing I have to tell you is, I was eating very late at night for a long time. And that's not great for you 
but it does help you keep your weight. So I just have to say, um, you know, it's impossible. It's impossible to be obese on a raw vegan diet. Impossible. But it is possible to be very skinny. Okay, you can lose a lot of weight if you're not eating enough. So me, I like to eat big meals, okay? Big bowls of fruit, big smoothies. You know, my smoothies are 64 ounces. They're not 16 ounces. This is not a meal. A meal has to be at least 500 calories. So that's a five bananas in a smoothie and some berries, you know? Um, that, that's a significant amount of fruit, okay? Some people come to the raw vegan lifestyle, I truly believe, and they have eating disorders and they come to the raw vegan lifestyle um, to not eat enough and it makes all the other raw vegans look bad but I know many in person that look just like me you know I, I don't I don't know if I have the perfect weight but it's my healthiest weight and I feel good and um, yeah I don't know I think they're just not eating enough it would be surprising for you to know that because uh, but uh, we have seen you it's the first time that we have seen you are raw vegan, a personal raw vegan diet and completely healthy looking, beautiful, everything to the mark. And, uh, you know, uh, people would be very shocked and surprised and happy to see you. They would be surprised and they would be, uh, you know, whenever they see you, they, they must, they might get shocked <laughs> uh, that uh, on raw vegan diet, you are so healthy and living happily on, in, the, in life. So, uh, sister, one great question. I want to ask you, in athletics, can a world-level performance be obtained on a raw vegan diet? Um, what was the first part of the question? Can, in athletics world, in the world of athletics, can a raw vegan diet, on a raw vegan diet, can, can a world-level performance be obtained? A world level. Yes, performance. yes, I would say so, yes. because Doug Graham is setting world records. You have to look into Doug Graham. He wrote a book called 80-10-10. I'm personally not an athlete, but I know that Doug Graham is, and he trains athletes, and he puts them on a raw vegan diet, and they far surpass any of the, uh, the, um, the previous um, athletic performances that they've had. So I would look into Doug Graham, um, and the fruitarian known as uh, Mike Arnstein, he set a lot of records. He ran a lot of um, you know, triathlons, and there are many, many athletes on a raw vegan diet. So yes, I would say it helps your performance greatly because you're finally, for the first time in your life, you're finally going to get all the nutrition that you need. Okay, I think a lot of athletes are successful in spite of what they're eating. They're pushing themselves, they're working out hard, despite what they're eating, not because of it. In a raw vegan diet, you are actually going to be getting energy and nutrition and health from what you're eating. So yes, I do believe that. In, in America, people are very open-minded, as we can see. Uh, are people shocked when you tell them that you are on a 100% raw vegan diet? Yes. yes. How they accept it? How they accept it? What's your reaction? They think I'm strange. Um, <laughs> they don't believe me. Some people don't believe me because I'm not dead because I'm not super skinny. Um, you know, they just can't believe it. Um, and then some people are just, you know, they have questions. They want to know why it's strange. You know, most of society thinks that cooked food is, um, healthy and normal and natural to eat. And I know that it's not, it's not just because everyone is doing something doesn't mean that it is right or it's supposed to be done. You know, wrong is wrong, even if everyone's doing it. And right is right, even if no one's doing it. So I know the truth is we don't need to hurt animals to be healthy. And if we don't want to, we don't need to eat cooked food. I'm living proof. You don't need to eat crappy foods and just go along to get along and eat, you know, all the things that everyone else is eating. Because guess what? If you eat all the things that everyone else is eating, you're going to get the life and the body and the diseases that everyone else gets. So you choose, you choose. So I don't mind telling people, but you know, they, they, they have lots of questions and then people always get embarrassed to eat in front of me, you know, their chicken or their pasta. I don't care what you eat. That's your body. I don't care. But me, I'm going to take care of my body because the creator gave me one body. He lent it to me and I'm going to give it back in better condition than I found it. So I just want to say that.
you know, take care of your body. It's lent to you for a reason, to take care of it. You take better care of your car than you take care of your own body. Stop it. This is crazy. Are you alone or your family is with you on a raw vegan diet on this Absolutely journey? Not. Yeah, okay. I'm alone. My family has all my family has all been deceased because of their diet. My sister died of a brain tumor. My mom died of a heart attack. My grandma died of diabetes. My grandpa died of uh, prostate cancer. Um, like they're, they're all not here anymore because of what they ate. And this is why I do what I do because I don't want anyone else to have to suffer and lose their loved ones because of food choices. We are so ignorant when it comes to what to eat. We just don't know. And I'm here and you're here to help people realize it because without us, people are never going to wake up. Sister, how much sleep do you need per day in 24 hours? Okay. Good questions. Good questions. Um, I slept four hours last night. I feel good. Wow. Um, wow. But I would like more, but I feel fine. I just, I woke up. I couldn't go back to sleep, so I got up. You know, I got up, I worked out, I started working. Um, but I like to get, you know, six, seven hours. But four hours is fine, wow. no problem. Uh, you know, people have dream of four hours of sleep. Even after 10 hours of sleep, they are feeling sluggish and they are feeling lethargic and they dream that at least they get five to six hours. So it's all about the food we eat. The food impacts our body, our digestive system. Yes. And sister, can any powerful addiction like drugs be healed on a raw vegan diet? Um, well, you have to heal an addiction, you have to abstain from that substance. So you can't heal a drug addiction if you're going to go raw, but still do the drugs, right? But let me just say, a raw food diet will absolutely be able to help you detox and get rid of the drugs out of your body the quickest possible way on earth, the quickest way. You know, if these rehabs that people went to gave them a healthy vegan diet, a high raw vegan diet, they would have such a better time experiencing the detox. You know, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, addiction is tough and um, you have to really have a reason. You either have to be sick or you have to have a purpose in life or you have to be in love or you have to have something that is so powerful that you want to stop the addiction because so many people, they actually don't want to stop. You know, it's like, that's all they have. That's their fun, that's their enjoyment. That's their everything. So I understand, you know, it's hard with the addiction. I had a food addiction. It wasn't a drug addiction, but it was a very strong food addiction. And I, I, I had to stop because I was at a rock bottom. I was at an extremely depressed state. I was overweight. I was very sick. And I had to, when I was 26 years old, I had to, do, I tried the raw food diet because I had to get off the food addiction. I couldn't live anymore the way I was living. I'd rather die. So that's the thing. You need to get to a rock bottom. So if anybody watching this is at a rock bottom, this is the place where you can change. You can't really change if you're just like in no man's land. You're in the middle and everything's just okay. You know, you're not sick. You're not happy. You're not miserable. You know, you're just in the middle. You're not going to change. You got to get to the lowest. So maybe you do need to be diagnosed with a disease to change. Maybe you do need to gain 100 pounds or have somebody in your family pass away for you to realize, wow, this is serious. I got to take care of myself or I'm going to be next. What we have heard that uh, the mind is under control on a raw vegan diet or fruitarian diet. Oh, we have heard it. What is diabetes? Uh, we have heard that the mind of an addictive person is more under control if he's on a fruitarian diet. Oh, the mind. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. People think that, um, people think that I have like discipline. I really don't. I really don't have discipline. Um, but my mind is much more under control because it's, um, I feel like now my mind belongs to me. I don't belong to my mind. If that makes sense. You know, some people's mind is out of control. They have panic attacks. They have anxiety. I used to have very bad, um, it was called disassociative disorder where like 
I didn't know out of nowhere, I didn't know where I was or who I was. And it would happen anywhere, anytime. And it, it forced me to have a panic attack. And so I was very scared. And, um, you know, people with addictions, they feel like they're not in control. Yes, eating a raw food diet will help you to feel like you're in control for the first time. But it's not going to be easy. It's not always easy. You know, the things in life that are easy, they're not even, imp they're not worth it. The things in life that are easy, nobody wants, you know? What's hard is usually what's gonna bring you to the best life and the best body and the best health that you can experience. But you've got, you've got to make the sacrifices and you've got to find a new way to live and you've got to learn the smoothie recipes and you've got to learn how to pick out your fruit, which if anybody wants, I have lots of videos on YouTube on how to pick out fruit, okay? You can click the link in my bio. I have a free video in there. It's an hour long, how to pick out every fruit. You gotta learn a new way of living and you gotta make new friends and you've gotta do other things besides eat for enjoyment. Because you know what? That's what's killing us, okay? We're eating these foods to have fun, to celebrate. But like, but in the meantime, it's hurting us, it's killing us, it's making us sick. We have to do other things like dancing, like you know, painting, working out, going into nature, hiking, canoeing, Find other things to do with your friends and family besides just stuffing your face with stuff that is going to kill you early. You're supposed to live a long, healthy life. You're not supposed to suffer for the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life with back pain and cancer and diabetes and strokes and all these horrible things. This is not how we were designed. The human is the most advanced technology on earth, okay? The human body. And we're supposed to take advantage of that by eating what we're supposed to eat, our species specific diet, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds. That's it. If you have to cook it, it's not for you. It's not for you. And sister, you, I think personally that your healthy living will inspire billions of people. I think in the coming time, it will be so fast that we can <laughs> even not even imagine what will happen, but uh, we are for sure that uh, you will inspire. Many Thank people, so many, much. many that people. Is, that is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you. And uh, sister, uh, one question from behalf of our sister, Indian sisters, what impact raw vegan diet has on periods menstrual cycle? Yes. So I get this question from clients a lot. They don't, they're scared. You know, they don't want to lose their periods or they want to be able to be parents. They want to give birth in the future. And I would say personally that if you are not eating enough calories, it's possible for you to lose your period. Yes. So what you really want to do is you want to focus your meals around fruit and you want to have at least 500 calories per meal minimum. Okay. You want to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. You see me, I love to eat. I love to eat. I don't have an eating disorder. So perhaps this is why I'm not super, super skinny looking like I'm dying because I don't have an eating disorder. In fact, I love to eat and I can eat anytime, you know, I love it. I have to tell myself, okay, Jeanette, no more, no more ice cream, no more watermelon, no more grapes, no more, you know, jackfruit or durian. Um, but you know, somebody else might come to this lifestyle and they don't like to eat. They are the ones that have to make the smoothies and they have to put in extra ingredients, dates and bananas and extra, you know, mangoes, these fruits that have lots of calories. Okay maybe hemp seeds, and they might want to put in some almond butter, almond milk, things like this, okay? Avocados, lots of calories. Coconut meats, avocados, durian, these things have a lot of calories. So if you're someone who came to the raw vegan lifestyle and you lost your period, you probably are not eating enough because I have never experienced that. It's been 13 years, um, but I'm also eating enough. And enough means I'm not going to bed hungry. That's important for people to know. People always ask me, how do you know if you're eating enough? You're not going to bed hungry, starving. You're not on a diet. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle of abundance. And if you want to look good and feel good and be healthy and have no problems with your hormones or your period, you're going to have to take care of yourself and eat enough. You cannot starve yourself. And maybe your body is not supposed to be super skinny. I'm not supposed to look like fully raw Christina. I think she's so beautiful and she's so fit, but that's not my body type, you know? I, want, I wanted to look very skinny my whole life and I finally realized that's not my body type and I have to embrace it and that's okay. We're all different as long as you are healthy and you are eating a healthy vegan diet 
then you are, will be beautiful no matter what. And uh, approximately how many calories are you ingesting per day? Calories? Yes. Per day. Yeah, that's a good question. I haven't counted in a very long time. Um, I used to count a lot when I first started because I wanted to know. And the calories, they add up very quickly, you know, very, very quickly, especially if you're having nuts or seeds, you know, it's easy. Um, with fruit, it's very low calorie. And with vegetables, vegetables have no calories. So that's why I eat a fruit based diet because it has lots of calories. So if you eat one banana, that's 100 calories. So if you eat five bananas in a smoothie, that's 500 calories. Sometimes I'll make a smoothie with eight bananas. That's 800 calories right there. That's a lot of calories. You put in a few dates, there's a thousand calories. You know, you put in some hemp seeds, that's 1,200 calories. You know, it's adding up. So it, the only people that are looking like they're dying on a raw vegan diet are simply just not eating enough. It's very easy to get your calories on a fruit-based diet. Now on a vegetable-based diet, you're gonna have some trouble. You're gonna have some trouble because cucumbers and celery and lettuce, this has no calories at all. You need the apples and the mangoes and the jackfruit. You need the mame sapote and the bananas and the dates. You need all the fruits with lots of calories to help you feel good, satisfied, and help you to maintain your body weight. Uh, sister, do you believe in celibacy? And does the raw vegan diet help with celibacy? Um, this is not my expertise. Um, I don't know. I've never been asked that question before. So, okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, we will skip this question. And uh, next question will be the world is surrounded by five thieves like lust, anger, uh, and attachment and uh, greediness and ego. Does that raw vegan diet uh, minimize even a little bit these five thieves that are surrounding all the world? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you asked me earlier a great question. How does the raw vegan diet help you with your peace? And I have to say, you know, I run the Woodstock Fruit Festival, which is a festival where hundreds of raw vegans come together. Okay. And we're doing it in January this year in Florida, hundreds of raw vegans. And you wouldn't believe the energy there. I mean, it is so peaceful. It is so beautiful. Everyone is just so nice. And so I know for a fact that if if the people that were committing crimes and the people that were so angry and the people that are not doing great in life, if they could eat a raw vegan diet, everything would change for them. I know this for a fact. Um, you're not going to see anybody committing crimes, being angry as a raw vegan. It just doesn't happen. Okay. Um, because, well, like we said earlier, you know, when you're irritated inside, you'll be irritable outside. And, you know, it's just the energy is real. So the energy in fruit and vegetables is the highest vibrational food on earth. And the animal products and the processed foods, it's the lowest vibrational food on earth. So yeah, okay, if you want to live in the middle, then eat, you know, healthy cooked food, your rice, your beans, your sweet potatoes, there's nothing wrong with that stuff, you know. But if you really want to live at the highest vibration possible for a human, you are what you eat. So you got to put in the highest vibrational food that you can possibly find, which is fruit and vegetables. And no, it's not expensive. I mean, it costs less than steak and wine and cheese. These things are very expensive. Okay. And so it's not more expensive. It's not inconvenient. Fruit and vegetables are everywhere. We have to just take advantage now while we still can, because we still have access to everything. All right. We're still alive. We still have free will. We have choices. We can make healthy choices. And no, you don't have to be perfect, but what you do the majority of the time is going to determine your health. Um, so yeah, I absolutely think the world can be a way better place if more people ate a raw vegan diet. And that's why I'm dedicating my life to promoting this. Do you believe that raw vegan diet helps with spirituality? Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, I, yeah, I was never spiritual until I started going raw and cleaning out the crap that was inside of me, the toxins and the processed foods and the French fries and the Skittles, all this crap. And I started connecting more to the creator and having just an appreciation for life and just realizing that it's not all about me. Okay. My life is not just about me. It's about helping other people, 
you know, and, um, you know, making the creator proud. So yeah, I absolutely think so. And I have to go in one minute. I have another interview <laughs> okay. with you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving us your precious time, Sister Janet. We are very thankful to you. And uh, we just think that God bless you and your journey and the people who will be connecting with you. Okay. Peace to all. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye. 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 तो वीरो आती खेड़ जिन्हा जिन्हा वीरा ने पढ़ाई की थी या मेहनत की थी या चार अक्षर इंग्लिश दे पढ़े या वो समझ ही गए होंगे कि ये पहन की क्या है जी के कि जो तुष्य खांदे या तुष्य और ही या जेह तो आड़ी जिंदगी चे दोख है परेशानी या तुष्य बमार है समझ लो कि तो आड़ी खराब करके या सारा कुछ साथ तो भी रो कोशिश करो बचो अपनी खराब रो मेंटेन करो क्योंकि ये शरीर बड़ा बेश कीमती है ये दोबारा नहीं मिलना इस कार के मेहनत करो चंगी खराब लो आटे डुबकनिया जवान जवान तो बंद करो बेक लो उनके ने हाई प्रोफाइल लोग ने दुनिया से ये पैन अमेरिका तो सीखे ये गाने कई सिंगर सुन दिया ना गाने जहाँ वीर सुन ते न्यूयॉर्क वेच रहने ने ते कई साल ना तो कच्चा ही पोजन खा रहे हैं किटी बड़ी खेड किन्हा इन्हा तो मानना ते किन्हे हो लोकानु वे इंस्पायर कर रहे हैं मैं इन्हा दी आईडी है जो नाल अटैच कर दिया का इस वीडियो दिन आप तो सीना नो भी फॉलो कर सकते हैं जिधे बीच पढ़े लिखे या ते इन्हा � वो इन अधी आईडी तो इन अधी वीडियोस देख के कोर भी जानकारी कठी कर सक दे या सो वीरो समझो इस केड नू वसी अजी बहुत पिच्चे या साढ़ा जो लेवल आ इंडिया दा जहाँ पिछड़े हुए देश ने बहुत नीमी सोच आ जे दुनिया दी साढ़े पासे जो साढ़ा समाज आ असल जस असी सब तो उच्चे होना सीखा सब तो ज़्यादा आसमान दी खेल से बहुत एक अलग लेवल दी चली जाएगी, ठीक है? तो मैंने आस है, उसे बहुत कुछ सीखा होएगा ये ना जो उसी पे एनुअल इंटरव्यू की था, खास करके वही सवाल पूछे थे जो लगभग हर इंसान दे जहर पे चुन दे कि पाई प्रोटीन शेक या अपने की सप्लीमेंट का चक्कर है, मीट इंडस्ट्री की इंपैक्ट क कुछ किस्मत केड है, तो आस है बहुत कुछ सीखा होगा, हाँ, आदि भी बड़ी आस है कि तो सी जिंदगी को चंगा करो, बढ़िया तरक्की करो, ठीक है? देखो खरबूजे नूबे के खरबूजा रंग पड़ता, तो जेडे परिंदे आसमान जोड़ देने तो सी उन्हें भी जारी पाओगे, उन्हें ना दोस्ती करोगे तो आदि सोच भी उच्ची हो नीमिया ना दोस्ती पाओगे जिन्ना ता बस बट्टा तो लड़ रहे हैं कोई बूढ़े दांत तो लड़ रहे हैं कचरे तो लड़ रहे हैं बस वो ना ना दोस्ती पे रोकता की रह जोगी इस कार के स्पूटो साड़ी जिंदगी में सब तो हाई प्रोफाइल कौन है साड़ी गुरु साहब गुरु ब्रांड साहब जी ज्ञान लो इन्ना को लो ते उन्हें � काफी टाइम हो गया आराम ना सो गुड नाइट टू ऑल वाहिकुरुदीका काउसा वाहिकुरुदीपी पर थैंक यू जी